everybody! Welcome to this week's video. If you're new here, my name is Flossie and I've lived in my van for three years. I've got some exciting things to show you this week. I love the outdoors, I love nature, I love swimming in the ocean, and more than anything, I love making delicious, delicious food. As we head further into summer and spring, I'm hoping to show you a little bit more about hunter-gatherer homesteading food and what we can find in nature and the beautiful and delicious things that can be made. Let's do it! Yay! I wanted to talk a little bit in this video about motivation and productivity and how doing a creative project all by yourself requires two lots of work. First of all, the work, the physical work itself, and then the emotional work to take care of one's mental health, to keep motivated, to plan, and to manage everything else that is going on in life. And let's face it, the world is quite a crazy place right now. Enjoy your dip. Oh, it's yeah, it would be, the sun's... yeah, it's beautiful, and there's like nice, easy places to get in. But yes, this is a moon snail shell, which I found on the beach, and they are just exquisite. It's beautiful. And at one time. Uh, in the cut between the little islands, I watched one lay her eggs. <gasps> yes. That, yes. That when it when she was doing it, have you seen those circles that look like an inner tube sliced yes. in half? Yes. Well, she was busy laying it, and I just laid on the water watching her. It was amazing. <gasps> it's beautiful because the shell is maybe like a fifth of the size of the actual snail. Oh yes, and when you see them. They're so, uh, you can't imagine how it all goes inside these shells. This is yeah. so gorgeous. You could think that I'm on a tropical island, but I'm not. I'm just on a shell beach. So. I wanted to acknowledge that the world, our society, really rewards productivity. And sometimes productivity all the time is just not sustainable. Especially with van life and van building, everybody's just hanging out for the next update, the next episode to see the progress. And while I truly, truly appreciate all of you championing me on and being so excited and enthusiastic with me as I make progress, making progress fast and all the time isn't sustainable. So this week I really just had to disconnect and take a break. Jane, I saw something recently that was like, I thought I led an emotionally complex life, but then the sun came out and I was happy. So I'm basically a leaf. A leaf. Really? Yeah. Yes. I've been a couple of times because my friend just got a paddle board. <laughs> Before you dash off into the sunset. There's sunshine right here. How ironic is that? Love the water. Trouble staying hydrated. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> OK, 
Okay, it's a moving photo. <laughs> I'll take a still from this. <laughs> I've got the exposure on this dropped way down so that it really brings out the colors in the sky. So I don't think it will. I'm very lucky to have a community of amazing people who also love the ocean around me. So the opportunity to go away to this lodge on the waterfront and for us to get some stunning, amazing, gorgeous weather while we're at it was just a dream. Maybe it's there's moisture in this like misty dew in the air, which is probably what's causing it the light refractions. That's the only thing I can think of that would cause color. What will be extra fun is if we put it up here and this, this kayak goes upside down and the camera's gonna go. Yeah. It was an opportunity to slow down, to not think about the van, not to think about work, not to think about making ends meet at all, not even really to think about YouTube other than being fully present in the moment to capture the beauty, the joy, the laughter, and the deep moments of connecting when we were standing outside looking up at the stars or sitting around the fire. It's those moments that create memories that truly stick in my brain as the preciousness of life the moments that nourish and nurture my soul and my heart.
So I really want to encourage all of you to find ways to disconnect if you feel scrambly, if you feel rushed, if you feel stressed, to find those moments where you can step outside of whatever you've got going on during the day and breathe and slow down and feel what your body feels like, feel where your aches and pains and your stresses and where your happiness is and lean into the things that give you and bring you joy. to those relationships, those friendships, those connections, be it with person or plant or, or fur, fur babies, friends, lean into those connections and enjoy a moment of slowness.
I think the coming of spring brings so much flurry of, oh my gosh, the sunshine, I can do things. And the flowers and the new life bursting forth. To really like enjoy that, it requires stopping and smelling the roses, taking a moment to breathe. I'm just about to go into the woods and today I am doing something that you all have asked for for a bit and that is explaining how to make nettle pesto. So the first step of course is to go into the forest and pick some fresh nettle and today is a really typical British Columbia day and it's pissing with rain. Oh I see some nettle! helping you know it's helping heal my heart yeah. yeah I'm just filming now just showing that that I'm only picking the tops of the nettle heads off the just the tops nettle 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 This is my second basket. Oh, wish I had a spare set of hands. Oh. There's nettle everywhere. It's so cool. It's just the top. That one's not very big. Yeah, just like that. These ones here are all small, so I'm gonna let them grow. I think I filmed a lot of times when it's like beautiful sunny days. And in reality of in BC, it's like rainy and miserable so much of the like winter, spring and autumn. I'm like, oh, here's some realistic footage for you. Three big things of another one. I'm gonna combine them all. Oh, this bag got saturated. I'm so wet. I'm singing in the rain where the glory of the
I am a bit saturated, but there's something like exciting and enlivening, I think is the best word, with being out and getting about in the forest. Look, this tree is so big. There's a kind of dry spot underneath. It's straight uphill, but it's very pretty. Especially how shiny everything looks when it's raining. Oh, yeah. My body's gonna be really happy. Okay, I'm going out and doing some exercise today. Especially when I go back and make that delicious nettle pesto and I think we'll see nothing but kind of that's the beauty of it seeing how in the clouds you can be I'm gonna go a little further. See if there's another another lookout where you get more of this. <laughs> Happy Flossy! Look, so much rain! Oh my clothes are very damp, if not saturated. Eh. Well, this like. is covered with something. <sighs> wow! Normally, this view would open out and you'd better see all the other Gulf Islands. Not all of them, of course, but some of the others. The water down there. And that is definitely not the case. Here you have a beautiful view. Of the clouds in my face. Neat! <laughs> Ta-da! taken off my wet jacket. Next thing that I want to do is make a hot fire because everything I'm wearing is damp and wet in my rain jacket. And it's going to be so much nicer and easier to make pesto from this nettle when everything is getting dry as opposed to feeling damp and soggy and getting cold. A few of you, a few of you have asked questions about living in a van in the Pacific Northwest during the winter and honestly, without this little stove here, my life would have been a lot more miserable. Having hot, dry heat to keep the van mold free, to keep it dry, to keep my body happy and warm in winter has made such a huge difference. So, let's start the fire. in the pan to sizzle while the fire's on. And that way I get to cook and use no uh, fossil fuels propane at all. Like, I don't use a whole heap, but 
It's even nicer when you don't have to use any. Tasty, tasty lunch. Put that on to cook. Yesterday in the rain, I went and harvested nettles. So I have this giant bag here full of all of the nettles that I harvested and it was a soggy, wet, rainy BC day. Today it's overcast but currently not raining which is so much nicer. So I wanted to show you making nettle pesto. I have just spent a little bit of time getting everything ready. I have nuts. I can't afford pine nuts so we're going to use these cashews. Uh, I have some cheese. This is parmesan cheese. You can use vegan parmesan cheese or any other strong cheese. Olive oil, salt and pepper and garlic and my blender and my bowl. So the first step is to take all the nettle and blanch it. At the moment if you eat it or touch it it'll sting you. It's very, it's got stingy bits on the end ends of all of the leaves and that little furriness so we want to remove the stinginess so that we can eat it uh, without having extra sensations in the mouth but as we blanch it uh, I will be keeping and saving all the water because this is a beautiful nettle tea so let's get started And then just turn it over so that all the leaves get to touch some hot water straight out and into this bowl and it starts to smell lovely we have that bag compressed down to this bowl of blanched nettle and a pot of nettle tea and I love doing this job with the door to my van wide open, the fireplace is going. It makes such a more pleasant experience to have some fresh air when there's so much steam from the blanching. And now I have to take all of this and blend it. It needs to be all chopped up. And then the next thing will be to chop up the nuts and then mix the cheese and olive oil into it. So we've got to drain this a little bit more because there's still a lot of liquid in here. And then we can start combining our ingredients and it's gonna taste so yummy! Yay! I love these vintage trivets. Protecting my bench top from hot surfaces. With all of this nettle, I now have to use my tiny little blender because I don't have a huge power system and chop up all of this nettle. Again, tiny, tiny batches over and over and over again. <laughs> so worth it and it just makes a slow meditative process. Let's keep going. In this teeny tiny blender. See how much we can fit in there without overloading it. Look at that. Blended nettle. Next, blend the nut. This is, if you're wondering, a Cuisine Art Mini Prep Plus and it's awesome! I have a cheese grater, but I find that the cheese grater is really hard to clean in the van. So, I decided to put the cheese in the blender and it's working awesome! Cashews. Cheese! Oh, it's all ground up nicely. Wow, this looks amazing. I'm tempted to say this is almost too delicious that I don't want to share any of it. I mean, I will, but. Mmm. Yum. Pop it in these jars and label it. Other than not counting the pile of dishes. <laughs>
the cheese is melted. Mm. It was a bit of a struggle and push to get myself motivated to do this job this morning. Then both of the rain yesterday, I, as I've mentioned before, I get seasonal depression and <laughs> when there's no sunshine, my leafy self just goes, it shrivels up a little bit. So I was like, no, Flossie, you have to do this. It's going to be delicious. The nettle's out and it's so good for your body and healthy and all of them vitamins and minerals, nutrients, they're a nettle. And then, I mean, it's rich and delicious and I have nettle tea as well from this process. <sighs> so sitting down to eat something afterwards that is delicious just feels like the perfect kind of reward and somebody smart I know recently said what kind of reward are you gonna give yourself for doing that job and I never think of the rewards first but boy I'm enjoying these ones afterwards <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. it's a delicious way to eat your greens mm. bye hey. Look at that tree! And this like spiky, spiky bush that I'm sitting in because this is the only patch of sunshine left. Hi! Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps the video get recommended to other people who like this kind of content. Uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll never miss an episode. Join me every week as we explore new ways to get outside, travel, and have fun. I don't mind. I wasn't born in Canada. Oh. That's probably why I have no idea. <laughs> oh my god.